Hello everyone and welcome back to Sawyer Studios and I apologize for the lack of content again. These past two weeks have been the busiest, but after this coming Sunday should be slowing back down again, respectively speaking. If that's for Trump to tell him I'm busy. Maybe ish, sort of. Maybe, hopefully, <laughs> anyway, uh, this is probably going to be the only video I post this week, honestly. But I wanted to get this review out because I have amazing things to say about this set. And it's been too long for me to not have done a review on this. So this is the Inquisitor Transport Scythe. Set number 75336 has 924 pieces and retails for $99.99 US dollars. And literally, it's been so quiet up until this one point where I decided to start recording. Now there's a plane flying over my apartment. Okay, All right, this ship was shown in the Kenobi show, which by the way, I thought was pretty darn good show. And I really loved Hayden Christensen specifically in that. I thought I would love Ewan McGregor more. I think I honestly liked Hayden Christensen more uh, in that show. Like I, I think, uh, I, I do. Uh, this site comes with a great mini figures ah! selection, which we'll get to in a moment. But I just want to say, Lego, why, <laughs> why, why are we still making these instruction booklets like this with these dumb CGI rendered pictures that look awful? This this just doesn't look good. I mean, I can, but just I. Mm, ah! Would you like to know what does look good? This looks good. 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 I don't even care if you do all of them with a black background and it's boring, but at least it has, at, at least this looks good. And this isn't like, you can't, you can't tell that this is like specifically CGI rendered. You can't tell that this is specifically CGI Like it's not as clear because it's in the context of like an actual background and scenery. This is so clear that this is like fake news. You are fake news, sir. I... Ah! Roll the intro before I lose, lose it. So here we have the first minifigure, which is Ben Kenobi in his poncho. And I love the poncho that Lego decided to give him. He comes with a blue lightsaber and I love his scruffy hair. The poncho does cover up a little bit of the uh, back printing, which there isn't much. There's <coughs> also some uh, front torso printing as well that we can lift up. Once again, not a lot. I like the fact that it comes with brown hands to show the gloves. Uh, and then also he has a very happy face right here. Then he also comes with a double-sided face. Which is more angry. And that is the Ben Kenobi in this set. 
Up next, we have Reva S Skywalker. My true name is Ray Star Wars. <laughs> I'm joking. The, up next, we have Riva, the third sister, and she has. I actually really, really love this hairpiece. Like Lego did a really good job making it look like her. I love the facial expression. I think it just encompasses everything she is in the show. Uh, all three Inquisitors come with the same dark chrome uh, Inquisitor hilt with the double-bladed lightsaber. She has some printing there, and then also comes with a smaller cape. And the Grand Inquisitor, uh, there's two capes in the set, and she has the smaller one. There's some printing on the back right there. And I like how the capes in the set are made of like this very soft, uh, flexible fabric. Next, we have the fifth brother, which uh, I decided to put his lightsaber on the back of him to show how that is held on to. Comes with some back printing, comes with the classic helmet as well. Pretty good face. Now, if we take off the helmet, there it, it, it isn't a double-sided face, but there is some printing on the back of the face, which I thought was very interesting. Um, I'm actually not quite sure if you could comment down below what that's supposed to be, then that would be appreciative. But this is the fifth brother with a very nice uh, headpiece and helmet. And finally, we have the Grand Inquisitor, who has great printing. This is not the same armor, like, shoulder piece as the fifth brother. Uh, and I love the printing right here, the detail in there. The face just looks oh, so menacing, so good. Better than the uh, Rebels one. And then the lines on the back of the head is also a nice addition. And he has a different, as you can see, a different shape, a bit wider shaped cape than Riva. If we lift it up, he also has some back printing there that's not really that important. But yeah, those are the four amazing exclusive minifigs to this set. Right, and here is the Inquisitor Transport Scythe, which just, oh my goodness, like, it just looks so flipping good for $100. I will show you a size comparison in a second, but this ship is way bigger than you would expect to see. It's one of those... Uh, sets that look small on the Lego box, but actually turns out to be a lot bigger than what it is. So this is a great play set. Like, I, I honestly think I am going to give the set 10 out of 10. Uh, I mean, there are some small things I would change, but I really love this set and how spacious it is. First of all, let's just look at the angles at the front of the ship and how Lego achieved this uh, down to the point right here. There's just like several angles there that LEGO did so well to meet at the front of the Inquisitor transport scythe. That's just awesome. We can see that underneath the wings we have some spring-loaded missiles here. Uh, plated very nicely along the entirety of the ship. Then we have a spring-loaded missile over here. And we have some nice engines right here in the back. Now, this ship does open up, and first off, just like the TV show, it opens up in the front right here. We can just lower that down. You'll sort of be able to see inside. You can't really put a minifig through there. Uh, you'll be able to see in a moment, but the cockpit kind of prevents uh, this gap from being open. But at least you can have the scene of that front door coming down. This is a nice printed piece. There's actually not that many stickers in this set. Most of them are on the wings and on the inside. So this is a this is a printed piece right here. And the way that this works is that the cockpit actually flips up like this, in which you can see we do have a printed control panel with a seat with a nice headrest piece. And I like how Lego did this with the reverse brick system right there. So you can actually place a minifig in there right now. Let's just place Riva in there for the heck of it. And there is Riva sitting in the pilot seat. And as I said, this is very spacious. This entire back actually opens up, continues to open up like this. And then these panels flip completely open to reveal several more stickers. We have some very nice control panels here and here, and then some lights back here to a exit that does not exist but that's the idea uh this 
uh, inside interior is actually so spacious that you can stand up a minifigure and like close the ship on top of them. Like that cannot be said about a lot of Lego sets that you can literally take a minifig, stand them up and shut this and look at that completely sealed like yeah it's 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 insane you might be asking what these sort of like jumper plates are for but they're actually there to store each inquisitor's lightsaber and what you're supposed to do is you're actually supposed to take them apart in pieces like this i know it's not the best looking storage like it doesn't make any sense uh, movie wise, you know, like in the Star Wars universe, because obviously the blade itself is not going to stick out of the ground. But that is the Lego uh, compromise, I guess, of how to store these. You can see that there's two seats behind the pilot seat. That is for the other two Inquisitors. Whoever is not driving can sit in those. But then if you want to say, like, let's say they captured Obi-Wan, you could also maybe have Obi-Wan somewhere else in the ship maybe behind them but yeah it's a little hard to seat these guys just because of the stuff that they have on the back of them so they sit down right there once you have everyone inside the ship you can now close it up as such and then the top then closes in and you can even see sort of on the inside Riva it is translucent and you can see that this closes up like really nicely and then uh you probably already guessed that the, there are guns on the ends of the wings and the wings also fold down like such in which you can flip this up and then this can come down all the way right here and that is what the ship looks like in flying mode just to so show the bottom of the uh, Inquisitor transport scythe, that's what it looks like. It's pretty naked, you know, you're not going to want to like display it like this or really look at it. Um, but they do a really, Lego does a really good job at hiding like uh, the interior parts. Like they have angled pieces here. So like there's really no gaps. I like how Lego's getting better at that. They have, you know, some landing gear that doesn't retract. Um, so I guess when you're flying it around, it kind of looks weird to have this landing gear out, but I, I don't really blame Lego for not making it retractable. They haven't really done that before. Um, and this is just what the ship looks like fully wound from this angle. So yeah, this is just, once again, great playset, really sturdy. Like you can hold it anywhere and I'm not afraid that like any of these sides are going to collapse in on themselves. Um, it just like really... This is such a good place. This is this is such a good, uh, unexpectedly good. Uh, I know I made fun of this set earlier for saying it's like a, it's practically Krennic shuttle, except it has short wings. Like this is, this set looks amazing. This is great. There's something about completely black Imperial shuttles that just look good. So there's that, that's the set. And uh, once again, really great interior. For size comparison, this is the, $140 ATT Walker versus the $100 Inquisitor Transport Scythe. And the ship just looks, it looks bigger <laughs> than the ATT -E Walker. Um, now, the ATT -E Walker, does that mean that it's overpriced? Or does that mean that the Inquisitor Transport Scythe is underpriced? I would actually argue that the Inquisitor Transport Scythe is more underpriced than the ATT -E Walker is overpriced. And the only reason being is that it's $100, 924 pieces, practically the same uh, price, but has four exclusive minifigs to this particular set. So I totally could have seen Lego charging around $120 for the Inquisitor Transport Scythe. And the ATT Walker, maybe it's just a little smidgen overpriced, but it does come with eight minifigs and like a lot of them are exclusive to the ATT Walker as of right now. That could change later. But, you know, both sets have exclusive minifigs. 
I think both sets are amazing play sets. Yeah, really, really no complaints. So thanks everyone for watching this leg review. Please like, comment, subscribe down below and click the bell icon. If it's not as you can know if I want to post new content and join the Discord server, links in the description below. Go watch some other videos from Sawyer Studios. And uh, with that being said, hope you all have a great rest of your week. Peace out.